Hey, welcome back, Whoa, people. Look at big ship. We got uh, some star destroyers and shit. Oh yeah. The, ship the Dauntless. Is that the uh, ship they were talking about? Um, in uh, episode eight. The Dauntless. Uh, you talking about the big massive one? That yeah. Was it? I don't know. I can't remember what that one was called. She's angry though. I'm gonna go over there and give him peace of my mind. Which yeah, I would shit. definitely be worried about because she's a woman. Right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Satellites are alive. Andy's sexist. That's anyway, <laughs> write your hate emails to Andy at hotmail.com. <laughs> and, uh. <laughs> you know what's funny is I bet someone has to have Andy at hotmail.com. <laughs> Which must be a really old email. Because, I mean. Because you're Andy376 at yes. hotmail.com. That is correct. <laughs> so, uh. So, yeah. So, uh. Address all your hate mails to that. Um, so I don't. Do you watch American Horror Story? No. Okay. I I did like for the first couple you seasons and I just kind of stopped. Which I think it's a great show. I did randomly decided like, oh, I need to watch something new on Netflix. So I went and just skipped all the way up to the most recent one they have on there. So I skipped like four seasons or whatever and went to Roanoke. And uh, man, that had a. Like, I, it, shit, what the hell is going on? That's the the fucking. <coughs> Monster uh, planet blower up or things that they that they've she made. Is remember? Your only target. Oh, that they like turned into the thing in the Force Awakens, the Starkiller base. I don't know. That movie sucked. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, here we go again. <laughs> Crazy. They're like solar panels and laser beams. Nuts. Bow wow, chicken bow wow, chicken 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 bow wow, chicken bow wow. Chicken, bow, wow. That guy looks like Brendan Yuri in the background. That guy. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Starts throwing panic. We like Dead's kill on the <laughs> ship. <laughs> Haven't you people ever heard of closing a goddamn door? That's <laughs> <laughs> all he says. <laughs> That'd be an amazing cameo. <laughs> Apparently, well, I don't know if you've ever watched it, but anyone else, if anyone follows Twilight Boy, all their new music videos that have like the weird, like, uh, crazy, like, very creature things that look strange. I know you probably haven't seen it, but if other people have, um, like Rung in the S Restless and stuff like that, um, apparently Brendan Urie is a guy in the suit of those, like, those weird creatures, like, they almost look like the ones from, uh, fuck that kid's book, Where the Wild Things Are. Almost looks exactly like one of those, but apparently he's in the costume in all the videos. We'll find huh. and That's like, uh, oh, I want it. Follow me. if you watch the Tenacious D videos, Dave Grohl plays Commander. Satan. Yeah. And he plays forget, Satan so in there in the agent. movie, too, The Pick of Destiny. Fantastic. I watched that, uh, oh, while, I don't know if I talked to you about it. Um, while, we, while I was on vacation, I uh, watched on Netflix a interesting documentary about the Foo Fighters that came out in 2011, I believe. Oh. Um, so it was like about the Excuse band's me? history and like about how... Um, like they formed? Yeah, kind of. Well, because it, it was Dave Grohl just kind of started recording shit and then he recruited some people from bands that he was in and Pat Schmier, he was actually um, the guy that was... He became the Nirvana's second guitarist. Apparently Nirvana, I didn't know this, um, was always meant to be a four-piece band, and Pat Smear was in some other band before Nirvana. I can't remember what it was now. Um, but he joined Nirvana, um, and then he was like really good friends with Kurt Cobain for a while, and then Kurt died, and then they didn't know what to do. So Dave Grohl decided he wanted to keep making music, so he made a mixtape of his own shit, and then he's like, hey, Pat, you want to come play? And then the bassist was like, I'm done, dude. So they got a bassist and drummer from some other band, and then yeah, it was, it was a really interesting oh, documentary. It's on really Netflix cool. right now. So if you if you guys are watching this while it's still on Netflix, go check that out. If you're a big fan of Foo Fighters, I know I, they've been around for a while, and like I I don't know I I, I have a lot of respect for Dave Grohl. He's one of my favorite like, professional musicians and stuff. So. Um, and then I also watched another one called Hired Guns. It's about like the um, 
paid musicians that get to come in and play on like big artist albums. Oh, okay. They had um, the guys that did um, most of Billy Joel's albums. Um, the drummer and bassist and Thank the you. rhythm section Thank for you. Billy Joel. So that was pretty cool. Um, cool. They had the guy who plays guitar and sings for Ted Nugent. Which I didn't know that Ted Nugent doesn't sing most of his own songs. Some other guy does. Really? I didn't know that either. Apparently he just, he just goes out and plays guitar. And then like they'll have people come up to the guy after the show, he was saying. And... Um, he was like, yeah, like the people would be like, yeah, like, sorry, Ted, his like, throat was sore, I would have liked to hear him sing, but you, you were pretty good up there. You sounded you sounded pretty close to like what he sounds like on the album and stuff. He's like, that's, that's, that's me on the album. I started, whoa. I thought, that's, that's pretty sweet, I didn't know there was actually more of those species. I thought he was like the last one or something like that. That totally looks like a weirwood tree from Game of Thrones, by the way. How is this? Ripping that off. So, so those were two cool documentaries I watched. Another one um, is uh, like called Maybe The Toys That Made Us or something. And the first episode was Star Wars, so I watched that one. Yeah. So I talked about the uh, toy lines and how they made all the uh, action figures for the early Star Wars um, toys. And the cool thing was, I, I don't know if I told you this story, um, how they made the Jawa. Like, they made the Jawa, they, like, melted, like, some character down that they had, and, like, they painted it down, yeah, character. they painted it black, <laughs> and, like, gave it, like, the glowing yellow eyes or whatever, and, like, what they did, like, the guy that, like, was in charge, or was trying to, like, make the Jawa, they were searching all over the fucking building for, like, ground material to, like, make his, like, oh, the cloak, the cloak. Yeah. and he couldn't find anything brown, and he tore apart, like, their place, and then I guess he's like, yeah, so then I looked down, and I noticed I was wearing brown socks, so he cut off part of the sock, turn that into the Jawa's cloak and he's like and then we took that around on tour for weeks and weeks showing people these toys and action figures and they were handling my dirty stinking sock <laughs> that he took off of his foot that day it'd be great for like people that actually witnessed that and were there that watched the document they're like oh gross no oh. so that was that was pretty funny um, that was a really good documentary I haven't watched the other episodes it's First episode was Star Wars, and it was Barbie, then either G.I. Joe and He-Man. I don't remember what was three and four. You can watch them out of order, so I guess it doesn't matter. But yeah, if you have interest in any of those toys, I know if you're watching this, you probably have some of interest in Star Wars. So if you want to see how the uh, toy line opened up. At least we'd hope so, or else yeah. this is probably pretty boring. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's already, Rito. It's already boring enough, but I mean, on top of it. <laughs> We're getting some interesting territory here. I'm just starting to have like a landing officer. bit of a moral backbone to pop up along with the other I'll dude. Orders, because if they are, this is treason. Well, gosh. Mute me. We're getting into uncharted territory that we're not familiar with at all. These are your orders. Yes. Your first orders. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> have mine. That's how it began. What were your weapons? Defiance will be the death of you. By the way, I'm totally was really stoked to see like one of the first time this planet. I don't know what to do. But they had like proper program inside the building with like the skull troopers that remind me of like my support of the troops window cleaning ahead of my car. Oh, yeah. Which sadly has left in my car. Oh yeah, I haven't talked about that. I traded my car Shh, for a dad mobile. So yeah. So I have a dad mobile now. But it's sad because I lost my Star Wars support the troops with the Stormtroopers window cling. And it's not white anymore, so it's not Stormtrooper colored. Yeah, that's true. But I'm happy with that because... I have a question about Stormtroopers. Oh, yeah. Why don't they all have the same armor as Captain Phasma has? That's our way out. If it deflects bullets and stuff, you'd think you'd want to get back to those guys. Maybe it's some kind of, like, rare material. And the Stormtroopers don't matter. Oh, shit. How do they know I'm already bad? Did you like radio them really fast as soon as they walked out that door? Shit. Oh, fuck that, man. I made it though. I reached this place. Hurry! What happened to the other dude? Oh, he's right there. Come on, Del. Del's on your team too? Yeah, because he had like a awakening situation where he was like, this isn't right. But wasn't Luke with Del? No, I think he left him on the planet and then uh, he rejoined up with the dude. That's what I was assuming. 
Oh, of course we're talking a lot. Sorry. Does <laughs> <laughs> he just stay? What the He's hell? trying to kill those guys. You gotta defend Dell. Is that what he said? I don't fucking know. Oh, okay. That's I don't need weird. anything. Yeah, look! I totally want one of these for my office. That would be cool. Uh, Keep it together, Agent Miko. We have That's civilians on the corpus relying on us. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Would you be surprised? I mean, a we'll little figure bit. It out. Oh, my fucking head. <laughs> <laughs> he says after he dies. <laughs> oh, man, there's a walker. Yeah, I see some ATs. Oh, shit. Oh, well, we can jump over here. He's sneaky as fuck. Where'd Del go? Du, 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 uh, he's right there getting spotted. Del Shannon. My little ah. runaway. <laughs> run, 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 run away. I see you. So I've been watching a lot of uh, Star Wars theories and shit on YouTube too. We've been sentenced to death. Um, we protect ourselves or we die. So die. it's like, um, yes. How episode nine's going to end the is like they're gonna find ahead. like the uh, force balanced people, people that aren't just light side or dark side. Oh, okay, like that. The gray, yeah, something. the gray people, um, the people that understand that the force is like its own entity, and like in this Jedi, we're only taken from like one Go. side, and the Sith, we're trying to take from another. Ah, uh, and then all so, the others like, just kind of got left there. Yeah. So like huh. those were like the two main force users, but there's like other types of force users. So I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, it does. It does. Um, they're telling how it's gonna kind of like tie in with like either the Clone Wars or Rebels. I'm not sure which one, which shows which. I should um, probably do that one and. Uh, so that 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 could be kind of a cool concept. Shit. And they were saying like that that could be like why Luke said that like the last Jedi because he realized that like the Jedi were only looking at one perspective in the Force. Yeah, yeah, that could very much was there. Did they spot us while I was in there? That's kind of uh, not fair. Like, here's the thing you can do. Check into it, maybe. <coughs> oh, no! Oh, shit. No! So, is, that, is it we have to wrap this up? Yeah, we'll wrap this one okay. up, and then uh, we'll continue it in the next one. So, uh, hopefully Heck you guys yeah. are still enjoying uh, us playing Star Wars. Um, yeah, let us know if you are, or if you would like to see it just wrapped up and we can jump into something else, which in that case, let us know what that something else should be. Yep. And, and uh, yeah. yeah we'll, we'll see you guys later. See you later. Bye. Bye.